What's going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and today finally I got plants. So all of these plants are going to be going into forest enclosure. That is what I decided to name the Amazon tree boa after Forrest Fanning because he got him for me. I had a lot of great name suggestions but uh, to kind of honor Forrest's memory I decided to name him Forrest. So right now the only plants quote unquote that are in there is just some moss. Um, and it's all dead, like fake moss, as well as uh, some mushrooms are growing in the uh, in the dirt. Now, as well as the plants, I got what is needed for plants that I've been waiting to buy for quite some time now, and that is this beast. So this is a uh, Fluval 6500K um, LED light that's specifically made for plant growth. Now, it is made for aquatic plants, but uh, it works just fine for enclosures like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this out of the box, and I'll show you guys how it works. And it's gonna take the enclosure from looking like that to looking insane with the whites and blues and the red lighting that it has. Uh, just give me a couple minutes to get it unboxed. I'll show you guys everything that's in it, and uh, we will get the light on first. All right, so here we go. Like I said, Fluval 6500K, 46 watts. It goes from 36 inches, and it's expandable up to 48 inches. Luckily, I only need 36 because, oh wait, Guys, I'm dumb. You did the wrong side. Guys, sometimes I'm so stupid. Shit. So, my enclosure is four feet tall by two feet wide. Um, this is 36 inches, which is three feet wide. Hold on, let me just look at something real quick. Oh yeah, that's big. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so I'm still, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna set it up. I'll still open it, get it set up, so I can show you guys what the plants will look like, and then tomorrow I am gonna go return this one and get the 24-inch one. <sighs> These things aren't cheap either. If you're curious, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that price tag, but uh, not cheap. But okay, let's get into this. God, I'm dumb sometimes. Here is the light bar itself. 36 inches, not 24. So dumb. You can set up like wake up timers, night timers, it has um, white, red, and blue lights, so you can make it like daytime or nighttime, which is very cool. Let me just get it plugged in real quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I turn it on. So I got the light up. Obviously you can see it overhangs on each side by six inches and that's because I got the size that's too big. But you can see what it looks like right now, right? It's not well lit on the bottom. And then the light is very yellow because of that heat lamp that's up there. But, look at how much better that looks. That is crazy, and I feel like once, once I have the one that's the right size, it'll look even better because there won't be a crazy brightness on the side, so it'll make this pop more. And then so as I was saying, you can set this up to be programmed, but so there's the blue light. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to see the blue light very well right now because that big uh, heat light is on, but it'll look really cool. I love it. Uh, now I'll show you guys all the plants that I got. Super excited about the plants too. Time to go over the plants. My dogs are making an appearance on the vlog just because they will not leave me alone for some reason. So first up, I did verify that all these plants are reptile safe plants. Kind of a pain in the butt because I got them from Home Depot, which I'm gonna have to do an extra step because I got them from Home Depot, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But first up is this guy. This is just a normal lavender plant. Super cool, they uh, smell pretty, they do great in full sunlight, which is essentially what that is. God, it looks so bright in the background. Looks great. Then I got, this is just a clipping from the reptile shop where I got the light. Shout out 50 Fathoms Reptile Shop in New Orleans. If you're in the area, they're great. Tons of stuff, tons of fish stuff too. Um, this is called like a pothos or a pothos. Don't know how to say it, just a crazy vine. They grow like crazy though. So you really have to watch them because they will take over your cage. Um, so you just gotta like trim them and stuff like that. But it'll be cool because it'll be like nice and viney. The vines will like run up the side and stuff. It'll look awesome. Well, then I got this right here. This is 12 things of scotch or Irish moss. So I'm gonna use this to go all along the bottom of the enclosure so it won't just be dirt. Hopefully the moss will like spread and everything. I think it'll look cool and it gets, not sure what you guys can see it. Yeah, those little tiny white flowers. So it'll look kind of cool I think. I got two of these guys. Uh, this is called Wandering Jew. It's like another vine 
type of plant. At least one of these in a cork bark and hopefully that it like travels all around the cork bark and stuff because I think that would look super cool. And it's got like the pretty purplish color to the leaves. Next up, I got this guy right here. This is just a bromeliad. They, this specific one doesn't grow super tall, but it grows like out and then you can take these little clippings and plant other ones and those will grow too. Um, not sure where I'm gonna plant this, I think. I just don't know if it's gonna fit where I want it to go. A favorite thing that I got that I didn't know, I've always looked at these plants, excuse me, and I thought they looked super cool, but I didn't know that they could go in enclosures, is this guy. It's kinda heavy. This right here. Uh, so this is called a corn plant which I thought was kind of weird because obviously it's not corn, but I guess you would call that a corn stock. Um, so it's two separate little trees. I don't know, it might be a little too tall, maybe, so I might only have to plant the smaller one and I guess I can plant this big one outside or something. So because these all came from Home Depot, they aren't in organic fertilizer, so I have to take all of these plants out, completely wash off the fertilizer that is that they're in right now, uh, and then I can go ahead and put them in. So for now, I'm gonna go through and wash all of these plants off. It's gonna take me a little while. Actually, since this didn't come from Home Depot, this came from the reptile shop, I know it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and fixture this where I want it, uh, and then I'll bring you guys back real quick and show you where I put this one. You can see I've got it in right there, and that, where I have the like stem in or whatever, that's actually planted, it's full of dirt. So I'm hoping that'll grow pretty good. What I wanna see is it like spread, oh God. He's not very happy right now and I'm trying to do this with him in here. So I don't have to take him out and stress him out, but this might be stressing him out more. I don't know, he keeps trying to bite me. So I'm hoping it'll spread like all around this area. Uh, I think that'll look pretty cool. Now I get to start the process of um, washing all these plants. So got all of the moss cleaned in and it's not enough to cover the base, which is what I wanted. I didn't want the whole entire bottom to be moss. I wanted there to be some dirt too. Just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. So that's a little bit of moss that I had in there previously. And basically it's just that. So it just covers a little bit. So I still have room for plants on the bottom. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the wandering Jew now. And I want to put one right here. And then I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the other one. I'll have to mess around with it a little bit. I think I'm gonna put the bromeliad right there. So now I got both the wandering Jew in, put one of them right here. This isn't very deep, so I'm not sure how well that's gonna work. I'm just gonna have to try it out over time. And then the other one back in that corner. So like I said, this stuff spreads all around, so I'm hoping it'll just get some nice coverage up there. And this one might spread around and kind of intermingle with the pothos or pothos, whatever it's called. Next up, I'm gonna do the corn plant. So if you guys were curious what I meant, you guys saw this one was in like a big pot and basically I just emptied it out of the pot and wash it so almost all of that dirt comes off. And again, that's basically just in case they use any like bad chemicals or stuff like that in the growing process of the plants. I think I'm gonna leave that little one out. Um, I gotta look and see once I get the lavender in how it looks, but I got the big one in and that's what we're looking at. So it starts all the way down there at the bottom, kind of like a little tree and then goes up and branches out at the top. Some of this stuff very well may have to get moved. Uh, I just gotta see how it grows and how it like kind of moves around, if it likes it, if it's too much heat, too much light, etc. But uh, next up, I'm not sure, might do the lavender next. Okay, so I went ahead and put in the lavender as well as the bromeliad, and I did end up putting in the other corn plant. Uh, I found a spot where I thought that it fit in pretty good. So if you guys are ready, I think it looks pretty badass and as it continues to grow, it's just gonna get better and better and better. Obviously, I'm gonna have to learn, you know, if something doesn't like where it is, I might have to move it, but take a look at this. How cool does that look? Snake, Mr. Forrest is still not very happy. He's up in the corner, like wondering what I'm doing, but look at how awesome this whole thing looks. Got the lavender plant down on the bottom. I moved some of the moss around, planted that corn plant right there. Obviously it fits really good in between those two branches that are right there. As it grows up, it'll like maybe come up to here. I don't know how tall those get. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out, no idea. Then we got the two vines right here. Hopefully those kind of go everywhere. Lavender plant. It smells absolutely amazing, by the way. Lavender is one of my favorite scents. And then the um, bromeliad right there. So hopefully that'll grow out, kind of spread out a little bit. Obviously there's the little bit of moss that's all around. Overall, super happy with how it came out. Uh, I'm gonna spray it down right now and then I'll give you guys another look once it's all sprayed and all wet. Uh, get the plants drinking, hopefully they settle in and hopefully nothing dies. Please, I don't have a good track record with plants, though my dart frog enclosure did very, very well.
So now that that's all done, don't click off the video yet because I'm going to try to see if he's going to go ahead and uh, eat. I don't know if he's going to. He's eaten every time for me, but given that I just put in all the new plants and stuff, he might not, but we're going to try it. I have a, uh, excuse me, I have a rat defrosting right there. I do want to ask you guys real quick, if you did like this video, please drop it a like. Like I said, not done yet. Comment below, what do you think? I love it so far. Definitely not done. Um, still going to get a couple more plants. I have a, a couple ideas of a couple other things that I want to get. Um, I really want a spider plant, the ones that have like the droppy down things that kind of hang. And then I'm going to add a couple carnivorous plants. And I have another idea, but I can't say it right now because Kelsey's listening in the living room. Shh. But I have a cool idea. I do get the question every now and then, you know, why do live planted bioactive? Oh, uh, one other thing. When I go and return that light, I am going to grab some isopods and some springtails as a cleanup crew. Uh, you kind of need it when you do bioactive and live. It helps regulate everything and keep everything from like rotting and going gross. They eat decaying stuff, like decaying anything realistically. Um, so I'm going to add a couple of those. But I do get the question why I do bioactive instead of fake plants. And a couple reasons. One, I think. Fake plants do look great now, but I don't think anything beats that. I think the way that that looks with the live plants, the lighting, just how everything looks amazing, what's up buddy, uh, is unrivalable. And it benefits with humidity too, right? These guys need relatively high humidity. I have to spray them down three times a day. Um, the plants help regulate that. It helps keep the humidity a little bit higher. But again, I think the main thing is just how it looks. It looks insane. I, I'm obsessed with it already. Um, he doesn't seem too happy, but give me a couple minutes. Let me get this rat to the frost. I'm gonna clean up all the dirt that I spilled everywhere so I don't get stabbed tonight. And I'll bring you guys back and we'll try to get this guy fed. Real quick, before we feed that snake, if you made it this far, comment that you saw this. I'm just gonna show it to you guys real quick. It's just a plan for the future. It's not gonna happen for probably six months, but there you go. Just show you guys real quick. You can pause. And uh, you can comment on what you think that is, what you think that's gonna be. It's gonna be badass. If you thought this was cool, just wait. We've got the rat, like I said, we're gonna see if he eats. I don't have a ton of faith that he's going to just because of all of the changes that just happened in the past, you know, uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so we're just gonna see if he eats. Again, still don't have tongs, but I'm trying to, oh God, I'm trying to, ah. He got me through the glove and it still hurt. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, there we go, nice. So boom guys, that means he is settling in great given that he took that. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised, uh, but that means he's settling in great still, still loving his enclosure. As you guys can see, he's still taking that down. Maybe one last look at the enclosure. Again, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. I am obsessed with it. I thought it looked good before, but now I don't even know how I thought that looked good because this looks so insane. Ignore the ugly water dish, that's gonna get changed out with a new good looking water dish. Eventually, I just forgot to buy one. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. Kind of a quick video, but I got all that stuff and I couldn't not make a video showing it to you guys. My next video, I'll show you guys what it looks like in nighttime mode with the blue lights on. I just don't want to mess with him right now because he's eating. I don't want to just mess with him. I want to leave that light on for a little bit too, just to kind of give the plants a little bit to settle in. But if you guys did like this video, please smash that like button. Let's try to get 120 likes on this video. That sounds so sad because most people are asking for like thousands. I'll be happy with 120. Smash the like button, comment down below again, tell me what you thought. My boy Forrest Enclosure, Forrest Fanning, I hope you are fucking proud, dude. I think I served you well. Uh, I, I think you would love this if you were here to see it. Uh, subscribe if you're new here, turn that notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. Gonna start uploading way more often now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.